Hi, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with a company called PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a Champion 3500 watt inverter. We're going to be doing a custom kit for this. So when you go to install this kit, everything will be pre-assembled for you. It's not a throw in the box kit. So we'll go ahead and show you the propane side of it and then we'll show you the natural gas and we'll get started on this. Okay, first step, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and remove our cover here so we can get access to our carburetor. And we'll get this done here. All right, we'll set that to the side. Now we got access to this. Show you the next step. Okay, now what we have to do also is remove this back cover because there is no way to get your hands up in here to get this adapter on. It's only a few screws. Um, down on the bottom here, there's two of them. They're number 10s. Just pull those out. Okay, get the other one out over here. Okay, get those. Now the rest are Phillips. So I'll just go ahead and loosen these up. Okay, we got one over here. Okay, now there's two on the back side of this here. Those. Should be able to just pull this apart now. Okay, now there is some hoses connected back here. Okay, I don't know if you can see them there. I just take this and flip it up to the top. And it's out of your way. And we'll show you the next step. Okay, now we got a couple tubes coming off here for the top of vent for the gas and then this is your breather for your uh, vent case so we'll go ahead and just pop them out just tuck them to the side pull this one that's connected to the door so you can just pop that up in there get it out of your way and we'll get to the next step okay now we're going to go ahead and remove the air cleaner box. Now, my hand, you're not gonna see me do every step here because it's so tiny in here, but go ahead and clip off your cleaner, pull out your filter, okay? And pull this box back as far as you can get it, okay? You can kind of pull this back, slide that back, because you have to get access. Okay, what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner box now. A lot of these steps that you're gonna see me do, my hands are gonna be in the way a little bit. It's such a tight configuration, I can't do nothing else. So go ahead and pop your clip off, pull your air cleaner out. And then what you gotta do is pull the frame, it's just plastic, kinda pull it back a little bit, cause you gotta be able to open this door up. All right, go ahead and get that. And then we're gonna get access to the two studs that hold this box on to the carburetor. So let's go ahead and that is a 10, number 10. Go ahead and remove those two. Get that back one there. And like I said, these are just the two studs holding the air cleaner up. Now you kind of can squeeze your hand in there. Go ahead and pull those two nuts off all right and there is a metal spacer in the inside of this and it keeps you from cracking the plastic on this I assume that's what it's for it's the spacer right there so okay we got that now we'll go ahead and pull this box off and you got to pull it through the back here just kind of fish it through all right now we've got access to our carburetor and we'll show you the next steps okay now, to get our slim adapter to fit on here, 
Okay, we're going to be putting this on here. Obviously, when we put this on here, we're adding a thickness. So it is going to pull the box away a little bit, okay? The studs are not long enough. So what you have to do is go ahead. The best thing what I did is pull the gasket off, okay? You can pull the gasoline carburetor straight off. Just kind of lay it to the side there. Get you some vice grips in here. Lock down on these. And you're going to pull them out about four full turns on both the back and front. All right. And we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll mount this back up there. So just pull these both out. About maybe three, four threads will give you enough. And then you can put that back on, you know, and see if you have room and stuff. So we'll go ahead and pull them out now. Okay, now that we've got our studs pulled out, we'll go ahead and we got our carburetor back on there, get our gasket back on there. We're gonna supply you this slim adapter with the hose, it'll all come pre-assembled too. Just go ahead and slide that in there behind the two hoses there. Go ahead and mount that up on there, okay? The gasket we'll supply you with, put that on there. And now it's back to the fun part of getting this box back in here now again. So you just kind of fish it through the back. All right, get that set up on there, and then go ahead and pull your door back open here. And remember, you got to pull this out to get that open. It's a tight little fit in there, that's for sure. Okay, we got that. All right, now we'll go ahead and remember your little bracket here to keep it from cracking. I'm going to get my hand pushed back in here again so I can feed it with all this stuff. Okay, we've got that. Go ahead and feed your hand with the nut there. I'll get that one started. And then just kind of push back on it there. This takes a little bit here. You just got to be patient with it. Okay. Got that. Now we'll go ahead and lock them down. All right. Now that we've got our box back snugged on there, everything's tight, looks good. We can go ahead and get our filter installed back in here. Everything is so small in here. Okay, go ahead and get that up. Clip that back on. We'll go ahead and take our hose back over to the breather here. And just pull it out a little bit here. Give you a little bit more room. And we'll get that in there. All right, there we go. Now we can't put this one in yet, coming off the back cover. It's not long enough. We gotta wait till we pull the door down and then we'll get to that step later. Um, now we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, now that we've got our hose hooked up, what we're gonna do is this hose is gonna end up coming around like this, okay? And it will connect to a bulkhead that we are gonna mount to the door, okay? And the reason we're gonna do that is so you can still open the door and be able to get to your oil or change your filter or anything without having to pull all this stuff apart. So what we're gonna do is take our door cover and from the side over here, we're gonna mark a hole at four inches and then we're gonna come up two inches and make us a mark there. Now, what I did is I put a little pilot hole through here with the drill so I could come through the back side. Now there's cloth here. So what we gotta do is you have to cut this cloth out of your way. If not, you will tear this all up and it'll just be a mess for you. So just go ahead and pull that out, get that out of your way, and then we can get to the next step of drilling this. Okay, now we'll go ahead and drill this out. We're gonna drill it to seven eighths. You can use this type of bit 
or you could use uh, a hole saw it's up to you just kind of put it up on the side here use your pilot hole and we'll get this drilled out all right that's there and then we'll mount our bulk head in there okay now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our bulk head assembly here um, go ahead and slide that in. You could put it this way or this way. It doesn't really matter which way you set it. Go ahead and you can see the back where we cut that out there. Let's go ahead and get this started here. And then we'll lock that down. Just a couple of inches here. ahead and hold this side back here and we're going to go ahead and snug this pretty good here because your hose is going to be connected to all this all right that's pretty snug now what we're going to do is go ahead and we'll supply you a little pipe to open a little tube go ahead and put your feet in here now remember it's going to be facing towards the back. Okay. All right, there's that step there, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, attach our hose to our bulkhead fitting here. Just slide your clamp on. Go ahead and pull this up, and we'll go ahead and slide this on there and get our clamp up on this here and go ahead and get this back in there and get our door fastened back up and this will Eliminate this step here, and then we can go on to the next step. All right, good and locked down. Okay, now that we've got everything installed on here, we're ready to close this back cover up. Now, remember I was telling you this hose that's connected here. Make sure you connect that to the air cleaner too, okay? So go ahead and just pop this back on here. Gotta kind of feed that top a little bit first. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's get these started. Go ahead and get this top one on here first. Make sure that clips down in there. Okay. And we'll get these screws started here. Here and you got your two bolts for the bottom here. got the two back up here and that is it all right. all right now that step step there is done and we'll go ahead and hook this up and run this thing all right before we hook up our propane to our tank you have a, a shutoff valve here for your gasoline so we didn't have to install a manual one in the inside so this makes it real nice so if you want to run back to gasoline, you'll run your fuel out, your alternative fuel, uh, and then switch it back over to gasoline, and you can start it back on gasoline. And it'd be vice versa. Um, run your fuel out on gasoline, keep it on the off position, and then you can hook up your propane. So we'll go ahead and connect up our line now. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our regulator assembly. We got our high pressure regulator, our low pressure regulator. This is gonna mount at the tank. So we'll go ahead and pull off our cap there. Go ahead and hook it to our propane tank. Go ahead and lock that down. We'll go ahead and connect it to our bulkhead fitting here. You're only dealing with six ounces of pressure here, so it don't have to be extremely tight. Um, now, these are flared, you don't need pipe dope, so there's that, we'll get that. Now I wanted to show you one more step here. When you're going to run this, obviously again, make sure that your gasoline is off and then turn your switch on and then we'll go ahead and get this thing fired up. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get this thing fired up. Now on this particular unit here, this will all come assembled for you. Um, your main adjustment is going to be your power elbow here. Um, in is lean, out is rich. We'll set these as close as we can. This will help you get a little quicker start. So let's go ahead and turn our unit on, make sure our gasoline's off. You do not need choke with propane. Um, I've turned the economy off, so it'll go up a little higher and idle. So let's go ahead and give her a shot of fuel here. Now get her on our economy. Make sure it comes back. Take her back up. Run it real smooth. Go ahead and shut this off. Go ahead and lock our jam nut down here. And that is our propane setup. Now we'll show you the natural gas here. Okay, now for the natural gas, instead of having your propane hose hooking up to here, okay, now this unit needs to be mounted to the door here. So we'll give you some spacers. The spacers are there to allow you to be able to reach in there and hit the primer button. You'll go ahead and mount this to the cover door here. Uh, your spacing's five and three quarters apart from here. Drill your two holes out nine thirty seconds, and then just bring your hose over to here, connect that to here. And then your natural gas feed will come into this unit here. Now we also carry this hose here. We carry the quick connects. So you can see all that on our web. So that would be the natural gas side. Okay, that wraps up our conversion on the Champion 3400 inverter. Uh, went and showed you the propane steps on it and then also the natural gas. Again, these are custom kits, uh, not a throw in a box kit. So everything will be pre-assembled for you. So uh, we really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it helps out. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to pngtechnologies.com, go under Champion, look up this particular unit uh, for the propane and natural gas. And again, I uh, really hope this helps out. Thanks a lot and uh, have a nice day.